Hi, my name is Greena Jemskill and in this video we're going to do a walkthrough of the Night of the Candy Monsters quest in Sims Free Play. This quest has come out with the Halloween update 2016. It is a repeat of the Halloween quest that we got last year, so some of you may already have completed it, some of you may have kind of got halfway through, but you get another chance to do it this year. So you will get this pop-up in the game once you are able to start completing the quest. The Night of the Candy Monsters... Complete this quest to win a costume pack including a witch, ghost, pirate, zombie and more. So we can win loads of really great Halloween outfits with this quest. So let's go ahead and get started. The way this quest works is it is split into several different parts. So for this part we get a chance to win a magical fawn, an imposing reanimated costume set for adult sims. So we get the adult sim costumes in this little part of the quest. The first thing that we need to do is to browse for a costume. Halloween is here and your sim wants to organise a party but they have been wearing the same costume for the past two years. Have a sim browse the internet on the computer for a new costume. So let's click on the computer. We need to browse for a costume. That takes 54 seconds on this two-star computer. If you have a three-star, you may be able to do that quicker. There we go. Task complete. Browse for a costume. Oh, we get a little reward each time we complete a task. That's a new thing, I think, with the update. Now we need to call a costume store. Every store says out of stock. How can all the supplies be gone? Have a sim call a costume store on a phone to ask about the lack of Halloween supplies. So let's go to our phone. Click on the phone and we need to call a costume store. That takes four minutes. There we go, that is task complete on call a costume store. Now we need to go to the park. Customer service explained that their warehouses have been ransacked by purple monsters. What? According to the operator, they were last seen in the park. Send a sim to the park to investigate. Let's head over to the park. These purple monsters are the cutest things I think I have ever seen in Sims Free Play. I absolutely adore them. They are so cute. They're little toddlers dressed up here. Look. How adorable. We can win these costumes within the quest if we continue and complete more of it. It's so adorable. There we go. Send us into the parks. We just need to go into the sim tracker and whistle someone over. Now we need to approach the purple monster. What is that? There really is a purple monster in the park. It giggles whilst popping candy into its mouth but doesn't appear to be dangerous. Have a sim approach the purple monster at the park. So let's find the purple monster. It has an exclamation mark above it. Click on it and approach for three seconds. And head over to it. Look how cute it is. I think it comes in purple and orange, this little costume. There we go, that is task complete. Approach the purple monster. Now we need to hide at the park. More purple monsters appear and crowd around your sim whilst eating candy and giggling. Your sim is becoming very nervous. Have a sim hide near a bench at the park. Here we go, here's loads of these monsters now. Look how cute they are running around. They're adorable. Let's go and find a bench and just click on the bench and we need to hide for 2 hours and 20 minutes. So there we go, we've finished hiding at the park. Now we need to talk to Misty in the park. A ghost appeared and the purple monster scattered. The ghost calls to your sim to come forward. She seems to be friendly. Have a sim talk to the ghost at the park. Here's the ghost. This is another costume that we can win, by the way, later on in the quest. Let's click on her and talk to for 5 minutes. So here we go, we have finished talking to Misty in the park. Now we need to watch the Halloween news. The ghost's name is Misty. She looked after the purple monsters until another powerful monster showed up. She thinks your sim can help and get the costumes back in the process. Check the Halloween news on TV to see where the purple monsters have gone. So we need to head on back home. So back at home, we have a three-star TV here. So if we click on this and we watch the Halloween news, that takes 10 hours to do that. There we go, task complete on the Watch Halloween News. Now we need to talk to Misty again. The news reports purple monsters appearing all over Sim Town. It's worse than your Sims thought. As your Sim looks from the TV, they see Misty moving through the walls of their house. Have a Sim talk to Misty again. So Misty should just be at your house there. So go ahead and click on her and talk for 25 minutes. 
That is task complete on talking to Misty. The next thing we need to practice scaring a sim. Misty says that the purple monsters would do anything to avoid losing candies. If your sims can scare the monsters into dropping their sweets, Misty may be able to trade the candies back for the Halloween costumes the monster stole. Have a sim practice scaring another sim. So with one sim selected, click on another one and practice scaring for one second. Here he goes. <laughs> he made a <her> jump. <laughs> He's laughing about it. Mean thing. There we go. That is task complete. Practice scaring a sim. Now we need to build courage. Great job. Your sim should try it on the purple monsters next. But they're still a little nervous from the first encounter with them. Have a sim build courage on a seat. So I'm going to get a better seat because we have got like one star seats here. Let me just go ahead and buy a three star seat. So you can do this either on like a dining room chair or a sofa or like a living room chair. But I've gone ahead and bought a three star sofa here and build courage is seven hours and 30 minutes. That takes a long time to build up the courage. There is task complete on building courage. Now we need to collect candy pieces. Now trust me, if you have not completed this quest before, you're going to get sick of this collecting candy pieces because there is a lot to collect over the course of the next eight days or so. So okay, your sim just need to sneak up behind the purple monsters and yell. Easy enough? No worries. Tap on a purple monster to have a sim scare them. Quick, complete this action to get extra candy. So we need to collect five candy with this. So what you need to do is there will be a, quite a few purple monsters around at your house. So click on a purple monster and collect candy. This takes five hours and 30 minutes. And you can do this with ho however many purple monsters you have. You can just click on multiple ones with different sims and collect candy to save time. So as you can see, we can whistle over a couple of other sims and click on a purple monster, collect candy, 5 hours and 30 minutes. Collect candy, 5 hours and 30 minutes. You can do that with however many, like I said, however many monsters you have. You can do that with however many sims that you have. And this is what it looks like, collecting the candy. Look at them. They've dropped all the lollipops. No. So the first sim that was hunting for candy, they collected two pieces of candy. The second sim that was hunting collected two pieces of candy as well. And the third collected two pieces of candy as well. So that means we have collected our five candy. So congratulations, your adult sims can join the fun with this new fawn and reanimated costume set. So we have completed the first little part in this quest. So that is task complete, collect all candy pieces. So now we move on to the second part in this quest. In that next part, we can get some astronaut costumes for the toddler sims. But I will link that down below on the screen now. So go ahead and click if you would like to go and see more. But let's go ahead and take a little look at the prizes for this part of the quest. So for the male sim, the prize that we get is this kind of Frankenstein costume here, which honestly, I really love. I really do like this outfit so let's put him in that and for the female adult sim we have this fawn costume by the way these can all just be found in the outfits section if you click a sim if you have a sim collect if you have a sim selected and click on a wardrobe just in the outfit section here that is where these outfits will be. So here is the fawn. And again, such a cute, adorable outfit. I really, really like this one, actually. It looks nice with the blonde hair. I've only ever seen it before with the darker hair. I like it with the blonde. So there we go. We will dress her in the fawn outfit. But that completes this first part of the Night of the Candy Monsters quest. Check them out here. Our first little Halloween outfit. Check out their walks as well. They do walks. Look, there you go. The fawn skips and hops around the place. I'm not sure what this one does. Is he going to walk before we have to end? Mm, no, I think he's just going to stand there. Let's make him walk. Let's uh, go be nice. Oh, look, there we go. He walks like a little bit of a, a mummy. There he is. 
that's his little walk. But yeah, like I said, there you go. That completes the first part of the Night of the Candy Monsters quest. The second part, like I said already, will be linked down below and on the screen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this Halloween quest. And I will see you guys soon for the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.